Hi, this is Agnes and welcome back to my channel. I have a few bags, they're like seven bags right here, or slightly more, that I'd like to share with you. These are my vintage bags that I feel I struggle to get rid of. I have uh, accumulated a bit of my designer bags, like my Chanel bags, and as well as my uh, Louis Vuitton bags and other brands, but these bags, I am stuck with them. I really cannot get rid of them. So let me show you the bags that I am talking about. The first bag, and they're actually all vintage bags, they're all vintage leather bags. So the bags I'm talking about are these ones right here. Let me go through them one by one. Uh, this is vintage bucket bag right here. Some of them, they have brand names, but I mean, yeah, different, mostly Italian brand names. So this bag was made in Italy as well. It's like croc embossed, uh, beautiful leather uh, bucket bag. It's got four feet and it's got a, a, a leather pouch, like a suede pouch right here, which opens up like this and just a hole inside. So to close it, just pull the strap like that and you're yeah, good to go. So I use this a lot in the summer. It's a beautiful, I feel red is kind of an all season. If you just want a bit of pop of color, even when it's fall, you know, season or you can just carry it. I, I just feel red, you know, you can wear it all year round. So this is a bag, the first bag, which I feel I'll have in my collection for a long time. It's a beautiful, uh, vintage bag and all these bags I'm going to show you actually they are all thrifted these uh, vintage bags so another quick bag is this beautiful croc balls patent leather bag it's another leather bag but this is good for going out with I carry this one a lot when I'm going out for dinner and then another bag that I like so much again thrifted everything is thrifted and all the bags here are real leather is this bag it's like a business bag or I carry it to work sometimes, but it doesn't carry, it doesn't pack like a lot of things that I I would like to use in doing my twelve hour shift because I I do twelve hour shifts, so I need to carry a few things in here like my uniform and other things. So this one doesn't carry that much, but it's a beautiful bag. I mean, it's just a gorgeous. If you just want to look smart, it's also an Italian bag. It's made in Italy. And I just added this uh, Fendi um, Monster Charm there. And it's got gold hardware. Just a bit of hardware there. But it's real ostrich. As you can see, it's real ostrich skin. So this is another bag that I feel I'll keep for a long time in my collection. It's got um, four feet. I mean, five feet. It's a gorgeous bag to have. And I, I like it. I'll never get rid of this bag, I think. And the next bag, the two similar bags, Kelly style bags. And these are the bags I'm talking about, the vintage bags. I thrifted these bags, I've just accessorized them with these uh, beautiful horse charms. Yeah, all leather bags. I mean, I feel I can't get rid of these bags. They came with locks, both of them are the key. So, yeah gorgeous bags to have in my collection and they, if i just want to look smart i i do carry them weekends or you know with casual outfits smart outfits anything it just goes i mean they're too small to carry to work but they just if i just want to look nice i do carry this when i go for meetings and other uh, work related events or training things like that i do carry those bags and another bag that is more of a casual bag that i carry over the weekend and if i'm really casually dressed it's this vintage bag right here i like the suede it's real leather again it's suede uh there's a cognac brown and the chocolate brown together i like the combination it's beautiful it's just like a shoulder bag and it's the leather is just so nice i mean you open it up like this and it's leather interior as well another gorgeous vintage bag that I feel is, I mean, very unique. And I get lots of compliments when I wear this uh, bag. It's beautiful. Another bag that I feel like, I mean, it's gorgeous. 
and I would rather keep it is this vintage bank here it's so nice um, it's another I think it's made in France this one it's got a brand name inside but it's just beautiful as well to have love the color love the design and yeah the fact that it's vintage and it's all leather inside it's just a stunning well-made structured bag love it to bits as well so as you can see I love all of them and another Kelly style bag that I have uh, I've just um, the screw has just come out of this it's got a screw so it just needs to be screwed back right here but it's got yeah I've kept the screw so this is the bag and I've just accessorized it with this um, strap that I got off Amazon I said a beautiful vintage bag as well so I will have to screw this back the handle here and uh, it's like a Kelly style as well and the leather is stunning it's a vintage bag I think this one is made in Italy but it's a beautiful bag and next I will show you this vintage Gianni Versace bag yeah, as I said, all these bags are thrifted. It's another thrift find. And it's got five feet. And it's a patent leather uh, bag. In, it's a croc embossed bag. And I like the Gianni Versace um, hardware. And that um, thing there. It's beautiful. And the next I'll show you this. This is one of my favorite vintage bags, actually. I love this bag. Like, I don't know. It's it's cute. And I get also lots of compliments when I wear this bag. Here it is. It's a very unique bag. Uh, a vintage bag. This one is actually, it says, made in England. Uh, it's also croc embossed. Real leather bag. And it's got a label. Uh, it's just I can't. I didn't carry my, I don't have my glasses right now, I could have read, but it's got um, like a tag where you can actually put your name inside this little tag and it's got the designer name on the back, but it's beautiful, it's just a shoulder bag or you can carry it like this and really beautiful and it's in gold hardware, I just like this detail on front there, so it's another bag that I feel it's gorgeous and I enjoy having it. Mm, the next, I have this uh, bag right here. It's also a leather, croc embossed, vintage bag, made in Italy. And I just like the simple design of it. And it's just another like, gorgeous bag that I like. And this one I can probably easily give it away or, but it's beautiful. But I don't have so much attachment like the other bags, but I can easily give this one away. But it's gorgeous to someone who would like it, who would really appreciate it. And then, lastly, I have this bag right here. It's also got a brand name. It's like a Chanel inspired, but it's got a brand name and it's vintage. It's also made in France. That's the back. It's like a, it's a navy blue. It looks black, but it's actually navy. And it's got that gold hardware. It's a beautiful bag as well. And then lastly, I'll show you this vintage wallet that I have. Is it a wallet or purse? It's very vintage that it doesn't even have like card orders. It's only got these, these slots there. But because it's too old. It's got, I think, like an ID slot there. But because it's old, because, you know, olden days, they didn't have the cards that we use, the business cards. And it's just got a slot for the uh, coins and you know slots for the for the um knots and so these compartments are for the knots it's very vintage i'm not sure how old but it's an old leather uh press or wallet so i think that's it so i just wanted to share with you these bags that i feel i have that attachment strong attachment and i don't think i can get rid of them but they're all vintage bags but i've been purging i've actually been giving away a lot of my bags and this is just a small fraction of of vintage bags that I'm left with. Uh, if you remember my videos way back, I think I had uh, a lot. I can't remember the number, but this is, I've cut them down. Oh, this one just dropped on the floor. It's another 
vintage bag that I, I I like so much. Yeah, between these, actually, this I plan to give it away to someone. But I will keep this one because it's beautiful. It's adorable. Lovely. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you're new, you have no subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to watch more of my videos. I do my uh, vintage bags as well, my Chanel's, my Louis Vuitton, and very soon I'll be doing my updated Louis Vuitton collection because I think I have a few more that I add into my collection, so I'd like to do it as a, as a whole. Um, so thanks for watching. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And any comment, just leave me a comment down below. And thank you so much for your time. And I will see you soon. It's bye for now.